Cozy unexpectedly had her first pup on our chair. We quickly shifted her and the puppy to the whelping zone that she had been introduced to so that she could finish having her litter in a comfortable and cozy atmosphere. Okay, here comes another baby. You can tell here comes another one right here. Oh, insane. I didn't ever see this when I was younger. He's so cute. He's speaking. Comes. That's insane. You see that? Oh, that see works. The, see the, watch, guys. Here comes a puppy. Good job, Cozy. Good job. It's oh, sleepy. yes. Oh, good job, baby. You're She's doing like so. Crying. No, like, yeah. Doesn't even hurt that much. Mm -mm. Hold on. Hold She's going to come. Oh. She's going to come out. Baby Here we go. Milk. Good girl, Cozy. Oh, yes. Good girl, Cozy. <laughs> Somebody needs to go get Cozy some water. Okay. Here we go. Good girl. She doesn't even seem phased. Yeah. She seems oh. fine. There, there we go. Okay, Cozy, look, you've got another one. What? You've got another one. What the heck? What? Okay, look, here it comes. Here it comes. Cozy, you gotta help. Cozy was not taking initiative to take care of her pup, so I stepped in momentarily until she took over. I invested in high calorie nutritional gel I bought off of Amazon to help Cozy have extra energy as she delivered. Okay, here comes, here comes, here comes another one. It's okay, it's okay, Cozy. Yep, good girl. Cozy, get off the good girl. Cozy, Cozy. Girl, Cozy. Yes. Yes, good puppy. Yes. Is she, is she breaking it open? She's doing it, yeah. Uh, 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 this puppy's placenta got stuck in Cozy. It's important not to pull the placenta out as it can rip or tear and get stuck in Mama Dog. Wait for a few more contractions for the placenta to pass naturally. This doggy is not doing well. You always let the mama dog do as much as possible until you sense an emergency. I kept this puppy close to Cozy yes. so that we could work oh, on her together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good girl, Cozy. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Yes. Come on. You have to watch. Yep. We're going to say a prayer. Everybody say a prayer for this puppy. He's having a very hard time breathing. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think he's good. Oh. Did he just act like I, he's out of breath? Yeah. These two, think these two are causing mischief. Okay, uh, oh look. Oh, oh. That was, oh my gosh, that was so eventful. That is the oh. loudest one. Oh, oh my God. God. So loud. It's, it's a girl. girl. Oh, Three girls and a boy. okay. Not too I was so nervous. Like you're shaking. I'm shaking. That baby was almost not alive, you guys. We just kept that baby alive. Oh, oh, we did a good job. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, good girl, baby. Good cozy. On. This one, yes. This one over yes. Is oh my gosh. I'm like shaking. Okay, this one is coming out. This one's coming out. Um, really it's moving. Fast. It's moving. The last one came out and it wasn't moving at all. Puppies are supposed to be born head and feet first. This pup was born bum first, meaning that his head was caught in her birth canal, cutting off oxygen supply. This puppy was born squirming, so I knew he was alive in utero. After being in the birth canal for several minutes, I started to get worried. I eventually stepped in and helped Cozy as she wasn't paying too much attention to him. When I pulled him out, he was lifeless. I gave Cozy over five minutes to have this puppy on her own. I eventually felt nervous that the puppy was in danger and stepped in to help. 
When I finally pulled him from the birth canal, I'm glad that I didn't wait any longer. I immediately went to work as he was limp. I broke the sack for Cozy because I knew I needed to get his airways cleared as quickly as possible. This was Cozy's first litter and she didn't know quite what to expect. It is very normal for a pup's first litter to have to step in more frequently than an experienced mama dog. Had we waited even just a little bit longer, I don't think we would have been able to save our sweet puppy Lucky. I worked on Lucky for over 15 minutes, worried that he wasn't going to live. He was limp and not breathing. I could tell he was trying to get a full breath, but he could not get air into his lungs. We used the syringe to pull out any fluid from his lungs and nose. At one point, we even blew a little bit of air in through his nostrils and in through his mouth. Come on, baby. Is everybody saying a prayer? Yes. <clears throat> the squealing that you're hearing are the other pups that were already born. Okay, this is, he's coming to life. Okay, he's moving. Is that him? Still not him. He is moving though. Here, maybe he's just not a, here. Just chill. He is moving. He's latched, he's latched. Maybe I'm just oversensitive. We're still gonna watch him. This is not as hard as he He's having a hard time breathing still. Ready to be left alone yet. That seemed good. Come on, baby. Just give me some cries. Oh, there he goes. We named this puppy Lucky because he was lucky to be alive. We got him stabilized and gave him to his mama Cozy. Five. One of my biggest regrets was not getting an x-ray done of Cozy to know exactly how many puppies to expect on birthing day. We thought she had another puppy in her tummy because there was a hard lump. After watching Cozy for four hours, I was concerned and thought I would need to take her into the emergency vet. After watching a few YouTube videos, I concluded that the hard lump I was feeling in Cozy's abdomen was actually her uterus shrinking down. Cozy ended up having five babies, three girls and two boys. She birthed three of her puppies all by herself and I stepped in and helped with two. Dogs are generally very capable of birthing their own litters, but at times, especially a first time mom, it's necessary to step in and help your mama dog. Cozy's Cuddly Cavapoos will be up for adoption by March 25th, 2023. Contact me if you are looking for the best adventure and companion dog.